The Crispinada is back. Hey, what's good, Smack Pack? We are back at the bell because they brought back the crispy chicken crispinada or whatever it is. It's the cantina menu and they brought it back by popular demand because it went over so big the first time. Granted, I missed it the first time, but this time I came prepared and I am ready to get down. I've heard good things about it. Let's see what we got. By the way, 379. I mean, <laughs> we'll see because I mean, it's gotta be pretty damn good for 379. We got some knackers, of course. We got, what we got here? Oh, oh. Some hot sauce. We got, so this comes with a side of dip. By default, it's spicy ranch. So I had to get that to try it out because I don't think I've ever had their spicy ranch unless it was like inside a chalupa or something. But I also got the nacho cheese because that's also an option. They also got chipotle and some other stuff. But as you can probably tell by now, not only did, oh, oh, well, we got some more hot sauces. But as you can see, I got one of them things right here. But I also got a second one to see how these things go. So let's get to it. So pull this thing on out. And you know what? Feels very hot. Looking very good. Feeling extremely crispy, crunchy. Didn't even have to take a bite. Reminds me of something that we've been missing for years, Taco Bell. The caramel apple empanada. Where is it? How are you going to bring this but not the caramel apple empanada? It don't make sense. It's the same thing. So this is chicken. I feel like the caramel apple one's easier because this one's chicken. The other one's just apples. How is that not here? What's going on? Everybody's been loud about it. But it's still not here. You brought this. You guys teasing us? What is this? I don't know, but it might be good. Actually, it smells pretty amazing. I did wait at the drive thru window for about five minutes. You know, got the order at the board, pulled on up, sat there for five minutes. Now, granted, that means it's fresh. So I'm not complaining about that. But I'm just saying, where's my carbon flippinata? Mm. When I saw this come out, I was like, yo, they're going to come out with a caramel apple empanada any day now but it's been months and it's still not here. Anywho, let me just put that back in there. Let's check out this other one. Are they the same size? You know, they're actually pretty good. And look, put them together, you got a nice circle. All right. I mean, they smell pretty fire. All right, so let's get on to the spicy ranch. Kind of just smells like regular ranch. All right. But that's why, you know, I had to go with <laughs> the nacho. Oh. oh, man. The nacho cheese sauce. Oh, so we'll see which one's better for this. And now, I guess we'll just start off with this one right here. I guess we'll just start by dunking it. Let's throw off some spicy ranch on it. See, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I guess we'll go good with chicken, but it seemed kind of weird putting on empanada. Whatever, no. I mean, it's technically not an empanada. It's a crispinata, whatever. It's definitely crispy, crunchy enough to make an 8.3 level earthquake on the Richter scale. But there's a problem here. That bite was all literally hot air. I mean, look at this. The chicken's like half, like how's that? It's halfway down there. That was a bite of hot air. Maybe I should have tried the other side. I don't know if it'll fall. It's actually not. The other side might add slowly. It's. I got this. It's slowly slooping on down there. Oh, there it goes. It fell down. But it's, do you, do you, do you see that? This, it's like 90% hot air. 
It does smell fantastic though. But I mean, the next like three bites are gonna be hot air. Look. To be honest, the exterior of this by itself is kind of disgusting. I'm not liking the way it tastes. Maybe if I had some chicken in my bite, I'd change my mind. Just once I'm gonna end up dumping the chicken out onto the floor. <laughs> okay, come on, let's, let's see, this is too much work here. All right, well, all right, there we go. Got some chicken there. We gonna get this ranch, spicy. All right, and now we ball. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got, I got the chicken that time. Oh yeah, so... Well, I did, I did figure this out. So the chicken is like marinated, other than the marinated chicken itself. I think there's some cheese or something in there cause something's oozing on out. That looks pretty good, tastes good. Now, after the first bite of hot air, you know, I was disappointed, but I was like, you know, once I get to the chicken, it's gonna be fantastic. However, I got completely thrown off. So imagine this, okay. Crispity, crunchy exterior, the crispiest thing you can think of, all right? You bite into it, but, but, but there is some air before you get to the chicken, all right? So, you know, you have to bite down, it flexes, and you know, you feel it flex. Then you finally get to the chicken with your bite and bite it, but there's no bite. So you come through this super hard, crispity, crunchy exterior, and then like that's all. Everything else just feels like mush. Didn't like that whatsoever. Like it just threw me off. So I'm like, I thought I was biting chicken, but it disappeared. I guess that means the chicken's extra super tender or something, but it's not the best combination. I am O to have it super crispy and then you get to the chicken and there's zero bite to it. Cause then you're like, oh, I'm eating mashed potatoes. And I mean, after, I don't know if it's just cause I had the exterior by itself with just hot air that when I had it with the chicken, that's still all I tasted. Just that flavor that wasn't super pleasant. Just like a greasy, crispy shell. <laughs> Like how it oozed on out. Mm. Look at all that cheese sauce. Oh yeah. How is half of it empty and then the other half is oozing out? I think if it didn't puff up so much, add a little bit flatter, it'd be better because everything would be evenly distributed. So this ends messy, what, what is this? Now I will say the chicken and whatever cheese sauce or whatever's inside of here is actually very good by itself. Throw in the empanada and eh. 
Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But let, let's try out the second one. Maybe this one isn't hot air. Actually, it feels kind of hollow. We'll see. I don't know. This kind of seems a bit... I mean, it's kind of hard to tell with how crispy, crunchy, and hard the exterior is. You can't really like be like, oh yeah, there's nothing there. So let's figure it out. This time we got the nacho cheese action. Only gave me like half a cup of nacho cheese. Huh. You know what? Okay. I mean... <laughs> I had chicken in the first bite. However, it's all right here and this side's completely empty. It's an air pocket. Hmm. But it tasted better. Just air, air. <laughs> um. Yep, it's still happening here. The main thing throwing me off is somehow the crispinata itself. Like the chicken, the cheese, whatever cheese stuff that's inside of there, even the spicy ranch, it's all fire. But then you mix it with the greasy exterior and you're like, uh. Like I don't even, I don't know, like I'm kind of losing my appetite on this thing. Like I don't want to eat it. The, the, you see, this is the difference. With the caramel apple empanada, let's go back to that. It's got cinnamon, it's got sugar on the outside. I'm not sure if it's the same exact thing or if there's sugar inside of it before they make it. But this one's just kind of flavorless. Like you eat it and it's just like, oh yeah, it's a greasy tortilla basically or something, you know? Like that's all I taste, it's flavorless. Then when you mix it with the chicken, it makes it better, but then you still taste the flavorless exterior. You can't enjoy the interior. Let me look at it. It's loaded up right here on this side. We're gonna just Get some nacho cheese. I mean, it's pretty hard to dip it in here when it's half empty. You know, that bite was pretty good because 90% of it was chicken. So it depends. Like, if this was loaded up with chicken, like, completely without the air pockets, or at least just slimmed down, eh, I don't know if it would be slimmed down because it would have less chicken, but. My point is, if you have more chicken than exterior, it works. If you have less chicken than exterior, it don't work. <laughs> Imagine trying to eat this while you're driving. You're like, ah, oh, there's no chicken. Ah, oh, there's no chicken. Ah, oh, there's no chicken. Ah, it's all over. <laughs> ah! Boom. Uh 
All right. So, everybody, Taco Bell's returning Cantina Chicken Crispinada. I gotta say, it diddles. Like, it's pretty good as far as the chicken and the interior goes. Well, most of it. Well, half of it. But the air pocket and then the exterior. Eh! Like, it really sets a bad tone when you take your first bite and it's all air and all you're tasting is the greasiness of the exterior. Doesn't really work. Now, once you get to the chicken, it tastes good, but then it's a mess. You bite it and it just oozes out everywhere. Like, it needs to be spread. Maybe if you, I don't know, like tap it or shake it or something. I don't know. But if it was loaded, I guess it would be more of a mess, but it would taste better. But for $3.79, uh, I don't know. I feel like maybe. $2.99 would be good. It'd be all right. Bring it down a little bit, about 25%. Because it seems like $4 is Bidenomics for dollar menu, and it's working. <laughs> but all jokes aside, ah, I, I'm not sure. I mean, how is this backed by popular demand? Is this really a hit? Because, I mean, I just had two of them. After the first one, I didn't even want the second one. And I don't think I'm ever gonna go back and get it again. I mean, I, I didn't enjoy it. All I can, like right now, all I can taste in my mouth is that greasiness of the exterior and just flavorless shell. I should have, at the very least, some nacho cheese, but somehow the shell, the greasiness, that power goes over everything else. That's all I can taste. And when you're just eating that by itself while you're trying to eat this thing, it's just gross. It makes your stomach start quivering. And plus it's $4. Come on now. I, I, I'd rather, I mean, come on. You can, you can go get a cheesy bean and rice burrito for like $1.50 now. Or $1.79. I don't know. It keeps going up. I don't know. Or even what, a chicken enchilada burrito for like $2 or maybe 3 or something. I, I don't even know what anything is anymore. <laughs> but either way, any I feel like anything else that's under four dollars is better. I mean, that's a lot four dollars for this thing. Now, if you bring back the caramel apple empanada, mm, how much was that? That was a long time ago. I feel like it was a dollar. Was it a dollar? Maybe two dollars max. I feel like it was a dollar though. Whatever it was, that thing was good. I, I, like, I don't, I haven't had that in years because of Taco Bell, but every time I did have it, I'm pretty sure it was loaded up with caramels, apples, cinnamons, all inside. Like, I don't remember having any air pockets in that thing. That thing was delicious. This thing, it, it, mm. I'm like, maybe they brought this back, so like, okay, you want an empanada? Here's an empanada! And then they're like, oh, it's not that good. I don't want the caramel apple one back, forget it, whatever. But I remember that one, that one was good. Oh man, the hype train let me down on this one. I thought it was gonna be amazing. Like I said, the interior is good. The exterior is bleh. Mm. I guess it is what it is. It's the future and we're just living in it.